This video is going to discuss uh, how to stream some kinds of data into QGIS. For example, OpenStreetMap is openly available data. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, you can connect to it in any app. Um, and so um, somebody has made a plugin for QGIS that makes it easy to add the OpenStreetMap background into your map. Uh, so to do this, you need to, to go beyond the base functionality that's available in QGIS. And we're going to do it via the, the plugins menu. So just click Manage and Install Plugins, and it will take a few minutes to connect to the, the plugin repository. Uh, and then go down here to uh, this one called Quick Map Services, and click Install Plugin. So this will just add an extra menu option in QGIS, which I'll show here. Uh, now that it's installed, I'll close out. And over here in this web menu, I should now see Quick Map Services. And I can go down to OSM and choose several of the different OpenStreetMap styles. Uh, to add into my map. And so now I have it there. Um, so I can zoom into that uh, down pretty far. Might take a minute or two to show in your browser. Sometimes these streamed layers also get resampled, so they might look a little blurry. That's because they're originally created as these, um, these pre made images, and so uh, you might not be viewing them at the scale that they were originally made at. Um, they're stored in small squares called tiles, and so your, your app will load in those tiles and uh, stitch them together uh, to create a seamless view, and that allows you to zoom and pan around the map pretty quickly because uh, your map is just retrieving the tiles that it needs uh, when you do that. And you can see how once you've retrieved a tile, it gets cached or stored uh, for, quick, uh, for quick viewing. Uh, and then you can add other data on top of this and work with it. Uh, for example, uh, let's add another streaming layer. This one we're going to stream uh, vector features. Uh, so this is coordinates that stream into our web browser along with attributes. And then Q just will do the work of drawing those coordinates as a, as a geographic file. Uh, now lots of uh, organizations make available streaming data in this way. Uh, for example, Kittitas County is one of them. Uh, so I'm, I've got the Kittitas County GIS website up here. Uh, you can see they're hosting it on ArcGIS.com, but the streaming data is going to be streamed out in a way that uh, other apps can read it. So QGIS and other open source apps can read streaming data from ArcGIS servers uh, like the one owned by Kittitas County. Uh, there's no kind of proprietary restriction on that, thankfully. Um, so, for example, let's add the road layer and just stream it in from Kittitas County. Maybe. Uh, this would be a situation where we didn't want to download all the roads ourselves, or maybe we wanted to make sure that we were getting the latest and greatest from the county server, uh, and so we would stream it in from them. Uh, so I'm going to click Transportation here and choose the roads data set. And uh, a lot of times on these uh, data portals, you'll be looking for a URL or a web address that you can use to uh, stream in the data. Uh, so I'm going to click APIs. This means application program interfaces, and this is the place where programmers go, as well as people who want to stream data, because it's going to show you the address of the data set. And we're going to use the GeoService address. Now, this is a special URL that we can use um, to get the data. So we're going to do Control C to copy it. Now let's just look at this in Notepad uh, for a second. I'm going to paste this address into Notepad. So this is a web address that we could use to uh, stream in the features. It's not really useful for us right now. And uh, the main thing we're interested in is uh, all of this part prior to the gobbledygook here. So uh, up until where it says map server. Um, and so I'm going to delete this very carefully. And what I've got left is this address. And if we break this down, we see that it's going to Kittitas County's website and they have hosted uh, their GIS services um, and then it's on their open data portal under a transportation category as a map service so uh, this is what a typical URL will look like if it's coming out of a, a GIS server uh, program um, and so we're going to copy this control C again and QGIS has a way that we can add streaming data via this address so I'm going to go into QGIS open my handy data source manager <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to choose ArcGIS feature server because uh, that data is being hosted on a Kittitas County ArcGIS server which is a program that will take your GIS data and host it out so um, you'll see that I've connected to this before I'm just going to create it again brand new so you can see 
uh, Kittitas County Roads. You know, I'll call it transportation because it could theoretically have multiple layers in it at this point. And so then I paste the address, not the full one, but the one that I chopped off here after map server and click OK and connect. Notice that it found one service in there, uh, a streaming service, it's uh, Rhodes. And so I can click add and those will now appear on my map uh, coming in directly from Kittitas County. Now the nice thing about these is uh, because it's streaming in vector features, uh, I can restyle them. Uh, the difficult thing about this is um, because it's streaming in features, if there's a ton of features, it's going to be slow okay? because it has to pass all that data to my browser when I go around. So probably best to be zoomed in and not using uh, a ton of data at a time. Um, but for example, let's change the symbol on this so that all the roads are the same color. So I could go to the roads properties and change this from categorized to a single symbol. And uh, going down to the lowest level here, maybe I'll just change this to like a, a dark gray line and click apply and now we can see uh, the roads data set that we've streamed in. Uh, so this was just an example of how to stream in some background tiles uh, from OpenStreetMap into QGIS and also how to stream in some vector data. This data is being served out from Kittitas County on their ArcGIS server and we just added a connection to that and we're able to bring it into our program.